Hi, Steve Smith here. Um, this is SDS Brand Videos. I'm trying something new here today, so bear with me. I've got a new piece of software that I'm using that'll capture my screen for you, and hopefully that'll give you a better view of what it is that I'm working on here. Um, so uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about that, if it's better or worse or uh, anything. Also know that the uh, volume on this is is uh, a little bit low. I'm having some problems with that right now, so I'll try to speak up. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to switch over to my screen here. What I'm going to be doing today is uh, showing you how to develop interior elevations, and the project that I've got right now is very simple. It's uh, There's not a lot going on, but it's, it'll give you a good idea on some techniques on how to go about just laying out elevations and how you, how you draw them and, and just the real basics so there's not a lot going on so what I've got here is the file that I'm getting ready to start on this is an older project that I'm going to use for reference over here I've just moved it off to the side of my page and this line here indicates where my page is going to be uh, I got a detail going on down here and then uh, these are some elevation keys that I pulled off to the bottom. I've got a copy of my floor plan uh, x ref into this drawing so that I can key where all my elevations are going to go. And then up here I've got a full scale. Uh, this one is reduced down just for the keys. Up here I've got a full scale version of the floor plan that I'm going to use to generate the elevations. <coughs> so. Uh, First thing I want to do with this is key the elevations that I want to draw. So uh, I've got my little keys down here. I'm just going to take one of those and move it into here like that. And that's going to be one. Number two will go facing this wall. Number three will face that back wall there fourth one goes here. The, the way I place these elevations, I always like to start with the entry to the building and then work my way around clockwise, always clockwise because when the elevations are sitting next to each other, this the right hand corner of the first elevation will be the left hand corner of the second elevation. So they kind of will, you know, unfold as you go around the room. So um, those are the only four we need in here. Uh, I'm going to move this one for number five into this wall and then going clockwise. Moving this, number six will be there. We'll make that as number seven. And I will continue that over onto this wall and just make one elevation of that whole thing. And then number eight. Zero eight will be of this wall and this wall. And then moving into this little restroom, I'll make that one number nine. And then going around clockways, 10, 11, and 12. So I'll just change those. 10, 11, and 12. So I can pretty much cover this whole this whole space with 12 elevations. <coughs> so getting oh, got a little hang up there. I'm going to pause this. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Something kind of snug up on me there. Okay. Anyway, so I've got all my um, elevations keyed. <coughs> Should be able to cover it all in 12, and that'll give you every wall in here. So, starting with elevation number one. Now, this is at an angle, so I could draw it straight on. But uh, I think for the purposes of an elevation, it would be better to draw it at the actual angle that this is at. Now, there's only two you know, walls where that's going to happen. So um, 
I'm going to just make a copy of that. And then I'm going to rotate this so that that is straight. So in order to get it straight, I'm just going to draw a line. Um, let me make sure. <clears throat> I'm just using a, a layer called G for graphics. And then I'll change the color of the, the layer depending on um, how it's going to look best for my pen style. So I'm going to use the align command and just pick two points and put them on this straight line and that'll get my drawing straight for me there. <laughs> Alright. I like to recommend that everybody always draw their elevations underneath so it's like you're below it looking at that wall. So uh, my perimeter where, where my elevation is going to basically be cut in section, I like to use a red line that's a very bold pin width. So, I'm going to just draw a line across the bottom that will represent the floor. Then I'm going to come onto my elevation and draw a line from there where the, where the edge of that wall meets. So that's the, the part that you'll be able to see. And I'll bring it down onto there. Same thing on this side. I'm going to grab the edge of that wall, put it there. And then as you can see from my, from my go-bys, if you do a distance here, these are, um, this one is at 10 foot 11. Typically, uh, for this concept, they want to go 10 feet for their ceilings. So I'm going to offset 10 feet and go up like that. Now I'm going to fill at the corners. And that basically shows me that wall is where that's at. So from this point, I can start to locate a door. So here is the door going to be there and there. So the top of the door is seven feet. Then I'm going to have a two inch uh, mullion in the storefront glazing. And then the top of the entire thing is going to be eight foot six. So that's going to be the top of the storefront. And then I'll come out two inches from there for the, the frame around the glass. And then my door is going to have a two inch frame on each side of that. So I'll come out like that. Now I'm going to just trim all that off right there. These I don't want to be bold. I'm going to change those to a blue color, which is more of a middle of the line color. And as you can see on here, these mullions are beyond the edge of the wall, so I'm not going to see those on either side. I will see these, which I just offset as two inches, and there's two more in here. So for here, I'm just going to draw a line like this and copy it onto these mullions. And then I'm going to use a stretch command and just pull these down like that. So those are going to be the other two mullions. So I'm just going to trim those off. Use the match command here. Alright, so now it's just a matter of cleaning this up. So these are going to stop at this point. I'm going to trim here. Use a fence and just knock those out. And then I'm just going to go in here and trim all these. These are the storefront framing. Oops, missed one. Alright. So that's what the storefront framing is going to look like. Now in this building, there's a uh, about a, I'm going to say, let's, let's say it's, it's going to be about a, a two foot low wall at the bottom of this. So I'm going to offset two feet like that. And it's going to go right up to the edge of this framing. So I'm going to trim out between there. Uh, we'll just match those and make them the same color for now. And then that's going to be a frame on top of that as well. So here I can just uh, extend that over and fill up that corner. So that, oh, no, that's not what that's going to look like. Let me undo. This is going to look more like more like that. 
the frame will go across the top of it. Then we'll have a four inch piece of uh, base. They're just using a vinyl base in this in this one. So that'll look something like that. Here I'm gonna trim those off. And there you go. Now we can trim these out just to show that it's all one frame. Now I'm going to come over to my other drawings and I'm going to copy one of these which is just kind of a little indication of like reflection or something just to show that there's some glass here. So I'll just drop those in there. Uh, it doesn't really fit in here so I'll, sometimes when that happens I'll just uh, scale them down a little bit where they'll fit. So let's just copy those into all this. And then the, this is not, okay. This is just the low wall down here. So we'll put a paint designation in on that. And the doorway, uh, on this one I can just copy this whole thing. Just get it from the middle. Door, these doors are always the same size. So I'll just drop it in just like that. Now this designates which uh, direction the door is supposed to swing. Let me add this line back in. So the point always goes to the hinge side. So uh, I need to flip mine around. Because the hinge side. I'm just going to mirror it and use the midpoint of that door like that. So that shows the door swing. And this pretty much wraps up the first elevation. So um, I'll go ahead and stop there just so you can digest that a little bit. We'll do some other ele uh, elevations like this uh, in, a, in a future video. But uh, let me know if this was helpful. Uh, leave me your comments of any questions you've got below, and I'll do my best to answer those. If you've got suggestions for any other uh, videos that you'd like me to do to cover any other information that you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below, and I'll, I'll get to it as quickly as possible. So uh, again, thanks for watching SDS brand videos. I'll see you next time.